A high tea squad ever heard of the saying a pouring salt on a wound hmm that is exactly what keeps happening to actress zoe mtiani with each revelation the knife keeps getting twisted into the wound if you have been keeping up with me tea squad you know that zoe and fellow actor rapulana sepuma were dating but their relationship did not have a happy ending instead rapulana started cheating with someone who also worked on the set of a generations the legacy the second woman in his life was reported by daily sun to be zandile chukulu who happens to be Mfundi Vundla's granddaughter. She works in the admin office of the Sopi. When it came out, it was very painful for the actress who allegedly started drinking to deal with the pain. The actress was so hurt that it is rumored she showed up to work drunk. Zoe denied those rumors and said she collapsed because she was emotionally overwhelmed and being bullied by Zandile at work. The bottom line is she was then fired or, as she puts it, given some time off to deal with the issues. But the plot thickens because it is being reported that Zandile and Rapulana have a month-old baby now. Makes you wonder just how long their affair was. Enough for Zandile to get pregnant, carry a child for nine months and give birth. Rapulana then ended things with Zoe and became serious with Zandile. Apparently, the two are inseparable. All this must have contributed to the environment being too toxic for Zoe to work in. People in the generation's office tiptoe around the fact that Zandile and Rapulana are a couple. Obviously, they want to keep their jobs. She's the granddaughter of their boss, so they respect that. But Zandile isn't hiding the relationship, especially now that she has had a baby with him. A source told Daily Sun, Mfundi Vundla, when asked, told Zalebs that the relationship between the two is not his concern. The relationship between Mfundi and Zandile might have contributed to Zoe's firing t squad what do you have to say about this do leave your comments down below i love you